Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more Emma Wrong stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. I have been with my girlfriend for five years. I honestly think she's the one and have recently often thought about popping the question. However, a recent family gathering has made tensions high between our families. While attending my brother's girlfriend's birthday party at their house, my mother and my brother brought me to the kitchen and confronted me and told me that my girlfriend needs to dress more modestly and that they have a problem with her not wearing a bra. I'm not sure if it's because she's my longtime girlfriend, but even though she weighs around 160 pounds and her not wearing a bra has never stuck out to me before and I hadn't even really noticed until they pointed it out to me. My brother told me her breasts are too big for her to not wear a bra and that even my boyfriend has commented on it before, saying that when she's in the room and because she's not wearing a bra, that's the only thing you can look at. Hello? What do you mean that's the only thing you can look at? Don't look at her then. Is that so hard? <laughs> you know? Why is that so hard? You really gotta be like... Um, it's not that hard to look at someone's face. My brother then confessed to me that his girlfriend also has had a problem with my girlfriend not wearing a bra and that he has caused multiple fights between the two of them because she's afraid my brother's eyes will wonder and she's secretly afraid he likes overweight girls. I never thought of my girlfriend as overweight and thought for her height she looked about average build for her weight. Okay, so how is your insecurity someone else's problem? What the hell? That's just like saying, oh my god, her body is so amazing. Can you hide her? Because I don't want my boyfriend to be admiring your girlfriend. Insecure much? After hearing them say this, I couldn't help but feel angry on her behalf. My girlfriend has mentioned to me offhandedly before that she doesn't like wearing bras because they make her chest feel tight and very uncomfortable. I simply told my mum and brother, okay. I then went out to the party from the kitchen where we'd been talking and got my girlfriend and left. A few minutes after I got home, my brother called me, asking why I had left, and I let him know exactly how I'd felt about the little talk with me. That I didn't think my girlfriend's body shape or the way she dresses is anyone's business, and that if people wanted to be creepy and stare at her, that wasn't her fault. Yes, boyfriend of the year. My mom then got on the phone and told me that my girlfriend needs to have respect for other people and self-respect when she dresses herself. <laughs> Mind you, my girlfriend has been wearing a t-shirt and jeans to this birthday party. That her weight and body makes people uncomfortable and she should dress to accommodate that. I then told them how important I think it is for my girlfriend to be comfortable in clothes she's wearing and if she can't be comfortable around my family, then we don't need to see them anymore. My brother and my mum started to scream at me over the phone, which evolved into a screaming match between the three of us. I don't think I'm in the wrong, but I wanted a second opinion in case I'm being dramatic or brash. Nope, I really don't think him sticking up for his girlfriend is the wrong thing to do. I think he did great because people should just mind their own business. If someone's not wearing a bra, mind your own business then. Don't look. You know, like it's not that hard to just look at someone in the face. Or like it's not that hard to just not even look at someone if you're not talking to them. Like what the hell? Imagine she's there, right? She's not wearing a bra. The brother's really gonna be like, like what the hell? Just don't look over there then, just look here. Like, come on, something wrong with you? Jeez, you're gonna blame your own desires on someone else? Jeez. All right, moving on. I have been married to my wife for a little over a year. Last week, it was my wife's birthday and she received a $3,000 diamond necklace from my brother. I was pretty weirded out by this as even though my brother is far from poor, he's not the type to gift anyone thousands of dollars gifts and he especially never gave my wife something as expensive as this. My wife shocked it off as it was nothing and my brother was just feeling generous. Here's where I might be the asshole. I still felt uneasy about the gift and so I ended up bringing it up to my brother's wife and she lost it on him. Apparently she never agreed to my brother gifting another woman such an expensive gift. Now both my brother and my wife are mad at me. My brother for creating problems in his marriage and my wife who thinks I only blabbered about my brother's gift for her to my sister-in-law just because I'm insecure about my own birthday gift for her, which wasn't as expensive. I paid for a full day spa for her, which she really liked, but it indeed wasn't as expensive as my brother's necklace. And who also thinks that sister-in-law is overreacting as she herself received a lot of expensive jewellery from my brother. Yeah, that's for sure weird. Like if I was the wife, I wouldn't even accept the gift. Like 3k? <laughs> you know, I wouldn't even feel good to accept it. That is actually really weird. You don't gift somebody else's wife an expensive gift like that. If anything, if you were going to give someone else's wife an expensive gift, you talk to the husband or the partner first. Like, is it okay if I buy this for her? 3k, come on. If it was not expensive, that's fine. But 3k? 
if anything, this is just suspicious. You know, like the wife didn't find it weird. The wife was like, it's nothing. It's just a 3K gift. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be sus. If I was like sitting there, I'd just be like, You know, like there's something going on, ain't there? Suspicious. Like he didn't even consult with his wife that he was gonna use that money to buy a gift for someone else's wife. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's weird as. Like if you guys are married, it's just common courtesy to be like, oh, I'm gonna spend this much on this, right? But no, he kept it a secret, which makes it even more weird. I mean, it would be totally fine if he was rich, rich, and 3K is just like a dollar to him. Then yeah, wouldn't bat an eye. All right, moving on. I had some tests to have run at my local hospital today. And the hospital is a coffee place. It isn't Starbucks, but it's a local place that has a few locations in my area. When I was all done with my medical stuff, I decided to treat myself to a coffee. I got in a long line behind a man that I noticed kept muttering about something. I noticed every time someone in front of him ordered a coffee with some sort of plant milk, he would mutter louder. Finally, he was up to order. He looked around and loudly said, I want a regular drip coffee with real milk. Not the BS everyone drinks these days. The barista rolled her eyes and got his coffee. He was standing nearby messing with his drinks or something. I ordered a latte with oat milk. I was kind of waiting for him to say something, but I wasn't officially instigating because I always get oat milk. The guy looks at me and says, you know, that's not milk, right? He then says, it won't kill you to drink regular milk, right? It's good for you. Now here's where I might be the asshole. I said, yeah, it won't kill me, but I still don't want a Hershey squirt all the way home. I don't want to shit myself from now until there's nothing left in my stomach. So if you don't mind, I will take my oat milk latte and not shit myself, thanks. The guy threw his coffee away and left. The barista was in shock. <laughs> Is that freaking guy dumb? You know there's not milk, right? Shut up! You know some people are allergic to milk, right? Ah. Now I feel bad and my husband said it was kind of uncalled for, but he also laughed so hard when I told him. I get so annoyed when people decide they have some sort of pocket thing to say to me. <laughs> Legit, man. Like, why do people judge someone else for what they're ordering? Like, what the hell? Not everyone's gonna like what you like. If you're not allergic to something, someone else is. Like just mind your own business and live your life. Stop being so nosy. Seriously, I don't get some people. Like being nosy does nothing. What a waste of time. This is a bit complicated. I'm a stepmom to five wonderful kids. I became their stepmom when the oldest was nine. I adopted all of them but one and that is Nick. He never wanted me to be his mum, which is fine. The moment he turned 18, he made it very clear he doesn't care about me at all. I wasn't invited to his wedding, any holidays and so on if he was hosting. My last straw was when he told me that he would come to Christmas that I was hosting if I left. So we are very low contact. Along with that, he has blown up every sibling relationship. He has two girls now and he called me up. This was a surprise and we started talking. After a while, he started complaining about not getting help at all to raise his kids. He asked me to watch them on Sunday and step up as a grandparent. I told him the reason the village doesn't exist to raise his kids is due to him burning that village down. He called me a jerk and hung up. My husband is iffy on the situation but told me it's my call since I would be the one to watch the kids most of the time since he travels often for work. Wow. Yeah, don't. And what's her husband doing? That's your own kid. Okay, sure, it's the stepmom's stepkids, which are technically her kids too, when they got married, right? But they are the husband's actual kids, and her husband isn't even doing anything to raise them right. Um, hello? You see how trashy your son is treating your wife? And you're not going to do anything about it? But damn, we can just tell Nick is a horrible person. <laughs> Seriously, only reaching out once... They needed help. Yeah, well now you know how hard it is to raise kids and she adopted so many kids. So yeah, I hope Nick knows how hard it is to be a parent, but I feel like he would not even care because I don't even think he's gonna raise his kids right. And what happened to Nick's real mum? Hmm? How come like no one was there for the kids except this mum? <laughs> I'm a bit confused, but seriously, yeah. She doesn't need to raise his kids now. Like what the hell? I'm gonna enjoy my life now while I'm old. You watch your kids. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.